Good morning. My name is Pastor David Little. I'm here at First Baptist Church, Wadawi. And this morning we're going to be talking about uh, why has God led me here? Now, have you ever asked that question? You know, why am I here? Why am I having to suffer? Why am I going through this? Lord, what are you up to? I think it's a common question that many of us ask. I think a lot of people in the Bible ask that question. I think Elijah asked it, John the Baptist, Joshua. Joshua said, Lord, why have you led us out here to be defeated? The Israelites today, they're going to ask that question here in Exodus chapter 13 and 14. They've been led out of Egypt, and they're ready to go to the promised land, and the Lord leads them up to the edge of the wilderness, right there to the edge of the Red Sea. And they're going to start asking, why, Lord? Why have you led us out here? Let's read it right now in Exodus chapter 14, verses 10 and 11. As Pharaoh approached the Israelites, looked up, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you've brought us out into the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone? Let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Lord, why have you done this? Why have you led us out here just to die? It's a, it's a hard question that doesn't really have any easy answers. Because a lot of us, a lot of us will think, Lord, uh, there was an easier way. Lord, if you, if you would just had done this, or this person would have changed their mind, or just a couple of things would have fell into place, I wouldn't be in the situation that I find myself in. Now, why doesn't the Lord lead us to easy answers a lot of the times? Well, that, for the Israelites, can be answered right here in the previous chapter. Here in chapter 13, verse 17, when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though it was shorter, for God said if they face war, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. Why didn't God choose the easy way? Because he knew if the people faced too hard of a conflict, they would flee. Maybe the reason God has led us exactly to where, we're, where we are right now is because he wants to build our faith. He wants us to trust him more, to know him more. That's not the, the answer probably a lot of us are looking for. But here for the Israelites, that is exactly what's going on. God has led them to a place where only they can be uh, delivered by his power through his protection alone. So let me ask you a question. Why has God led you to where you are? To the very situation you find yourself in? Is it because the Lord wants to deliver you? And he wants to deliver you not by your own cleverness, not by your own plan, but by his power alone. You see, the Israelites had been led to the very edge. Let's look in uh, chapter 13, verse 20. It says, after leaving Succoth, they camped at Etham at the edge of the desert. They're at the, the very edge of the wilderness. Maybe you find yourself at the edge, at the edge of doubt. At the edge of being overcome by fear. At the edge of loneliness. I don't know where you're at. I don't know what you're facing. Uh, uh, but a lot of times in our situations, we tend to focus on the negative. What if I were to say, God has led you to the edge of something truly amazing. So I, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if that's what's really going on here. You, you don't know my situation. Well, when I look at the Israelites, they're surrounded. 
There is no way out. It's almost like they've been led into a trap, a dead end. And for someone to come to the Israelites at their point and say, God has led you to something truly amazing, they would be looking around saying, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I, I see the army of, the, of Pharaoh coming. I don't think it's something truly amazing. But maybe that's what the Lord is doing to you today. In your journey where you find yourself, maybe you're on the edge of something truly amazing. Maybe it's hard for you to see because we're too busy crying out. Here, the first verse we read in chapter 14, verses 10, 11, and 12, they're saying to, they're saying to Moses, take us back. I want to go back. Let's go back to Egypt. Why didn't you take us out of Egypt? I mean, Egypt was a horrible place for the Israelites. Uh, a horrible place of slavery where they were beaten, looked down upon, forgotten. They were in complete misery. Uh, even familiar misery was better than being led into a trap, into a dead end. Do you find yourself crying out to the Lord, Lord, just take me back. Well, I just want to go back to what's familiar. Even though it was bad, I want to go back. I don't know if I can handle this unknown. You know, I feel like the quarantine kind of does that to us in a way. In this situation that we find ourselves, we are no longer busy uh, we are no longer distracted. There's nowhere to escape. And so the situation we find ourselves in, uh, all we can do is think about it. All we can do is think about how lonely we are or how miserable I am. And why, Lord, have you led me here? If we could just go back. And as soon as the quarantine's over, we're going to rush back to that distraction, to that escape. And everything is going to remain the same. Maybe the reason God's led us to where we're at is because he wants to deliver us. We're on the edge of something truly amazing. And instead of giving it over to the Lord, we'd rather be distracted. We'd rather go back to the familiar misery. That's what they're saying. That's what they're doing. I want, you, I want us to look at Moses' response to them as they say, let's go back. Moses responds in verse 13. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you'll see the deliverance that the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians will see, you see today you'll never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Verse 